Welcome to Chapter 9. Chapter 9 is one of the most important units in Calculus BC. It is so important that we're going to cover it in two units. Units 2 and 3 will cover Chapter 9. As we begin this chapter, it's going to be important that we understand how to find the limit as n approaches infinity. Yes, we could and should use L'Hopital's rule, but we find that dominance of the lead term is is more efficient and can be done quicker than using L'Hopital's rule. So therefore, I want you to understand how functions grow. This table gives a list of functions and how they grow. Please notice that the slower growing functions are at the top and then it's a progression to the fastest growing functions. So in other words, polynomials grow slightly faster than natural log of x, but exponentials grow faster than polynomials. Polynomials um, grow according to their exponent. So the higher the exponent, the faster it grows. x cubed grows faster than x squared. The same is true for exponential. The base determines the how fast it grows. So 3 to the x grows faster than e to the x, which grows faster than 2 to the x. Factorials you may not be familiar with, but um, it is like 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. What we'll see most often in this class is n factorial. Notice that each time we subtract 1 from the factor. And then the fastest of all growing is x to the x. Let's take a moment and find the limit of the following expressions using dominance of the lead term. Now in this first example, notice that x to the fifth grows faster than x squared. So because the numerator grows faster than the denominator, we say that this, the limit as x approaches infinity, infinity would be infinity, simply because this grows faster than this. If we look at this second part, it may be helpful to break this into two terms. So I can look at this as e to the x as 5 over x minus 2 plus x over 5x minus 2. Now, because 5 to the x grows faster than e to the x, and the fastest growing is on the bottom, notice also as we go towards infinity, this becomes negligible. If I have a billion um, raised to the x power, a billion raised to the fifth power, I don't really care about this 2. So those become negligible as we go towards infinity. So I can look at this as e to the x over 5 to the x. Since e is about 2.718 and 5 is greater than that, this, the bottom grows faster, so this goes towards 0. And of course, this exponential is going to grow faster than that linear, so this would be 0. In this expression, x grows faster than natural log of x. So since the numerator is growing the fastest, we say this goes towards infinity. In this expression, we had one like this before, and I know you don't like it when I say this, but because as this goes towards infinity, these values become negligible. So we only have to, that's why it's called the dominance of the lead term. We only have to look at the lead term as we go towards infinity. Because we're taking the square root of this, this is going to look like 3x squared. I'm sorry, 3x cubed. And because now we have 2x cubed over 3x cubed, these two are growing at the same rate, and this is going to look like 2 thirds. So my answer here is 2 thirds. What we said before is that factorials grow faster than exponentials, so this would go towards infinity. Now this one, it's hard to tell. It looks as if they're growing at the same rate. But if we use what we know about exponentials and use this to write this is n plus 2, and we're subtracting 1 each time, so this would be n plus 1, subtract 1 again, and I go back to n factorial. So notice that this n factorial will cancel with this n factorial. And so actually, this looks like a quadratic function at the bottom. So this n plus 2 times n plus 1 is going to grow faster than just 1. So this actually, the limit is 0.
February is Black History Month, so I wanted to take a moment and just to um, talk about some sci scientists and mathematicians um, who were African American, and the first is Garrett Morgan. As some of you may know, he did a lot of work to improve traffic signals. He also created a respiratory device that was used as the prototype for World War I gas masks. He was a scientist and an inventor. This ends video one. Please watch video two.